Hello and welcome to this short tutorial which will introduce you to Adobe Fireworks. We're going to be using Fireworks to create a magazine cover and in this first tutorial I'm going to show you how to set your document up and introduce you to the basic interface and features of Fireworks. So we need to create a new document from the splash screen which we can do obviously just by clicking this button and it gives you options here to set up your page and you need to do this before you start. We want to have a magazine that's, well, magazine sized. And so we're going to really want something that's A4. Not all mag, some magazines are bigger than that and some even smaller, but really A4 is about right for what we're going to do. So this shows us how wide or tall our page is, but it tells us in pixels. And you might find it easier to change that to centimeters because it gives you a better idea of how large the page is going to be and you can see it's 22 centimeters by 16 now the size of an A4 page is actually 21 centimeters by 29.7 and that's now going to be right resolution here isn't something really that you need to change the res that really is going to affect how many pixels are on each area of the screen. Uh, in other words, how detailed our image will be, our magazine cover will be when we create it. And you'll find if you change that, or if you increase it, look, the size of the document goes up and we could end up really using quite a lot of memory. So we're going to use, we're going to keep it at 72, which will be fine for the kind of work that we're going to do. Now under here, the final thing that you need to do is set the color of your canvas. Now you can change this later so it doesn't matter if you haven't quite decided that yet. Obviously if you just want a standard white canvas that's easy to do. Transparent means well obviously that that you're creating a transparent background to your image. Um, you're pro we're probably not going to be working with a transparent canvas in this one but when we'll look at transparency in some of our later videos and custom allows you to choose a page color very easily just from from the uh, picker menu there so we're going to start really with a white canvas and just click OK and then that's what we've got we've got an area of the screen there a canvas in the middle which is our working area tools down the side and something called a properties box at the bottom and I'll explain what those things are We've also here got a means of setting our magnification so we can actually, our, our document looks pretty small at the moment. If we go to 100% like that, that's actual size and we can zoom in. And if we're working on a broader scale, we can zoom out again. So we'll leave it at 50. So this is your basic fireworks interface. At the top here, you've got the select tools. So the pointer tool is useful if you're actually wanting to change if you're wanting to select something that you have on your screen, a piece of text or a graphic. The sub-selection tool is useful if you're working with shapes and you're actually wanting to change the way a shape looks or is constructed and put together. The scale tool is useful because it allows you to rotate and change the size of the objects on your page. And this, you might recognize the crop tool from other applications. You can actually cut bits off your image and make it smaller. The bitmap tools, these are the tools that we use when we're really working with photographs because when we'll be spending a lot of time working with photographic images in fireworks and these are our vector tools so if you're working with lines or shapes or text that you want to resize or draw or colour yourself then that's what we would use. Web tools, we're not really making any web objects in this one and we're going to use some of the colour tools later on important thing to understand is this properties box at the bottom of the screen and this changes depending on what you are working on so at the moment I've just got a blank canvas and so the tools in here reflect my canvas color so I can change that for, from within there my size so again I can change the size if I want to if I don't like it and the size of my image that I'm working on if I draw a shape I'll draw a rectangle on there for instance what you notice is the properties box changes and the toolbox at the bottom now is useful for working with graphics so it's got fill color and I can change the lines and things like that if I was to add a piece of text if I was to click the text tool 
then what do you notice now? You see that the text tools, similar to the things that you see in Word, have appeared. So I can choose a font, change the size of the font, add emboldening, and even position it as well. So the properties box will change depending on what you're working with. It means you've got far fewer tools to worry about at one time. The other thing you might notice is on this bar on the left hand side the tools have little triangles at the bottom and this means that there might be more than one tool in that category so for instance here I've got on the shapes tool the rectangle tool if I hover over you can see there's a little black triangle if I click the black triangle I can change the shape that I'm working with to any of these so I can for instance draw a circle so you need to get used to using that little because if you just click on if you click on it it doesn't work you actually need to make sure that you hover over that bottom right hand corner so again and if there isn't a black triangle it means that there aren't any other tools under that category for you to use so if I were you I would just make sure you get a document set up familiarize yourself with the interface perhaps even just spend five minutes experimenting with putting shapes on and see if you can work out perhaps what some of the other tools do when you think you're ready to start to work on the next part of your magazine cover, you can move on to the next tutorial.